What's up you guys? Welcome to my April outfit of the week. It has been a hot minute since I've done this series and I'm so happy to bring it back. As always, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description bar, so make sure to check that out. So let's go ahead and get started with our Monday outfit. I've got a soft feminine jean look for you guys. It all centers around this beautiful, like, mixed media tunic. Seriously, you guys, I cannot believe I found this at Target for $20. Top of the shirt is opaque, like a soft, delicate t-shirt and then the bottom is kind of like a sheer, very lightweight chiffon. And then the actual cut of the tunic has some nice slits on the side to really show off your pants and to give it more of a curved hem along with some really cool like seam work peeking out on the edges. So just a really cool t-shirt. You've got a contrasting zipper on the back. To complement the soft blushes, I went with my white skinny jeans, my favorite nude lace up low heel sandals, and then my high 11 blush bucket bag to just kind of complement the blush and the t-shirt. And I just love that this outfit has so much lightness even though I'm pairing a long tunic with a pair of pants in spring. Moving on to Tuesday's outfit. This look is not only incredibly comfortable but I actually played with the longest pair of shorts I think I've purchased in a long time. Starting from the top, I've got my Uniqlo white ribbed crew neck t-shirt. This one is the newer version with Supima cotton so it feels even more luxurious than the last one I got a few months ago. Even though it's higher coverage, it's got a nice fitted feel because of the ribbed material. Then I tucked it into these brand new pair of shorts. These are the drape shorts from Uniqlo and they're pretty much like the trousers that you guys have seen multiple times these past few weeks except they just cut it off into a longer pair of shorts. The top still kind of has that trouser feel with the pleats but it still has that elasticized waist so it's incredibly comfortable and of course the legs are a little bit wider so it's nice and breezy. I have one of my favorite casual cardigans from Uniqlo. You guys also saw this in the haul video. This is my ribbed casual gray cardigan. I just thought it adds a nice high low hem between the shorts and the cardigan and I like that the ribbed kind of goes with the ribbed in the t-shirt. I went with my pointy toed white loafers and then paired it with my super light gray Rebecca Minkoff Julian backpack. I normally never wear any high-waisted shorts or longer shorts and this pair allowed me to try something completely new. A great outfit look for those of you who want a little bit higher coverage on the legs or want a shorts look that looks a little bit more polished. Moving on to Wednesday's look. Oh, we might have a sneak peek of some of my office series material. This is a nice spring themed, more professional type of look. I've got the short sleeve rayon blouse that you guys have seen many, many times this season and tuck that into my smart ankle pants, also from Uniqlo. I have four pairs of these and I finally got them hemmed. They look like professional, slightly tapered, ankle length trousers. However, the actual waistband is a stretchy elastic. It's like combining your like stretchy comfy pants with your office professional wear. It's genius. I hemmed them to be a little bit shorter because I really liked that cropped look, especially for petite people like me. So. Just to finish out this look, just simple accessories. I have my high 11 black tote bag and also my favorite nude pumps from Sam Edelman. Love this look by itself, but I'm telling you the materials between the rayon and the comfortability of the pants, like this is such a great office look if you're in a warmer climate. And moving on to Thursday's look, I actually was struggling between two versions of this look, so I'm gonna show you guys both. The first version starts off with my favorite Topshop super thick cotton t-shirt. This one has a little bit of distressing to it and then tucked it into this adorable navy dotted ruffled asymmetrical mini skirt. I fell in love with this skirt immediately and I just think that the t-shirt kind of balances out the girliness of the skirt. Then the second version has another layer to it. Instead of the t-shirt, I have my Uniqlo built-in bra tank top. Tucked it into the skirt and then paired it with my Madewell military jacket. You guys know how much I love pairing military jackets with really feminine things. And I also really love olive and navy together. And then for both versions of the look, I have the same accessories. I have this new Soul Society laser cut like bohemian western saddlebag. And then for shoes, I got my platform S drill white sneakers. A really cute way to turn a super girly mini skirt into something a little bit more wearable and casual for every day. And lastly for Friday's look. It is spring 
cozy time. This one's just gonna be like my laid back look if I just need to run some errands, but I also still wanna look cute. I started off with another great affordable top. This is a ruffled sweatshirt. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have already seen this. This sweatshirt is a very lightweight one. I'd almost say it's more of just like a, a thicker long sleeve. Ruffle is just the most adorable detail. Ruffles are super in right now, and I just love that they're appearing on just like really comfy casual pieces like sweatshirts. And this one seriously was the most lightweight I found and also the most affordable. This top was only $20. Then with those, I paired it with my light wash, super distressed, busted knee jeans. And then for shoes, I went with my super feminine minimalist slides in the color blush. I thought it complemented the sweatshirt really well. Of course, you guys know this bag better than you know me. My street level reversible tote bag in cognac and black. For those days that I wanna throw on a sweatshirt and jeans and just get out the door, but still wanna look a little bit fancy, love this look for that. All right guys, that does it for my outfit of the week, April. Again. Everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in that description bar in case you guys want to check anything out. I'm so sorry I paused this series for so long. If you guys enjoyed yourself today, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you guys still like the series. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next week. Bye! Mwah.